going on guys? My name is Theo, your local Solar Southwest guide. In today's video, I'm going to explain the question that we get asked all the time here. How do I get the best solar system? Whether it's asked directly or indirectly, as consumers, we all want to make the best choice. We want the best system at the best investment, with the best equipment, with the best company. In today's video, what I'm going to do is highlight the core points to understanding what goes into a solar system and what you should be asking for when sitting down with the solar consultant so you understand where their equipment, service, warranties, racking fall on this list. So off the bat here, we have your panels. Now, panels are kind of like a sponge. They're going to absorb the solar energy and they're gonna squeeze it into an inverter. An inverter will send that AC current directly to your home and produce electricity. If your home's not needing it, it's gonna get sent back to the electric grid or a battery. So in this instance here, panels, what we see most reputable installers, they're gonna be using panels that I would say are at least a seven here. So a panel that might be on the seven scale here might be like a Jinko or a JA solar panel. Um, these are uh, good Chinese companies that are making a decent panel. Um, you're not gonna have nuances with it, but it's a good standalone panel. Kind of moving up the rank here, we kind of get into your eightfold where you might have uh, Mission Solar with their durability. Um, you might have sort of a Meyer Burger here, um, relatively new in the solar space here, but you're gonna start to see efficiencies rise and you're gonna start to see um, wattage increase. You're gonna have um, more of a, of a well-rounded panel. Into the nine slot here, I'm gonna go ahead and award the likes of Silfab Solar, Qcell, one of my personal favorite solar panels, coming in at the nine slot here. Um, really, really, really well-rounded panel that's gonna have perks and features, great efficiencies, great temperature coefficients, how resilient the panel is to the heat, um, with great company backing to boot here. At the number 10 slot, here's where we have a massive price jump. So 10 is certainly gonna be a premium option here, but I'm gonna list the likes of the REC panel, uh, the Sun Power panel, um, you know, and into say a, a Panasonic. Uh, these would be your three um, premium price points here. They excel at efficiencies. Um, however, again, looking at this spectrum here, as long as your estimate is looking at one of these panels, you're gonna be in good form. Um, and you can prioritize your inverter service racking and warranties. But moving into the brains of the operation here, if we move into the brains of the operation here, we're gonna have your inverters. Now, inverters, we might not have as much of a selection as we do with panels, but there's a couple of names that I'm gonna throw out. Um, on this spectrum here, um, we're gonna start here at about a six. And I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, SMA. They used to do a lot of solar here. They're a string inverter, uh, very popular um, historically. We move into kind of your seven here with a Fronius. Um, Fronius is an Austrian inverter. Um, good reputation, certainly a, a good panel, or rather an inverter for your home. Uh, we don't see it too much in the United States. Um, and I'm gonna pair Fronius right here with um, the likes of uh, Solar Edge. Now, if you're looking at assessments, Solar Edge is probably gonna pop up for you. This is um, the most sold inverter in the entire United States on a string level right? Two sorts of inverters, your central Christmas light scenario inverter. If that inverter goes out, the whole system will not work. 
um, or you have microinverters, which are modular, um, stackable, and have a little bit more reliability than a string inverter. Um, moving up, I'm going to give the eight slot here to the Aptos. Aptos makes solar panels. They fall around the seven, seven and a half, maybe an eight here. Um, but Aptos has a very interesting microinverter combination where they're going to pair two microinverters for one panel. It's kind of a budget microinverter, but it allows for a little bit more modularity um, and a little bit more independence than your traditional central inverters. Into sort of the nine and a 10 slot here, there's really no other inverter that is gonna hold its weight. Um, at the 10 slot here, I'm gonna give it to Enphase. Enphase, the California-based microinverter company, they make hands down the best inverter out there in the market. Um, they're, they're sweet, they're tracking, their consumption tracking, all of the perks that you get um, are out, are, 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 all of the perks that you get with an Enphase inverter are greatly superseded by any of the competition. Um, this is effectively the weakest link. If there was going to be something that needed to be replaced 20 or 23 years down the line, it would be an inverter and you want to have the strongest part of that link to be your inverter. Your panel's in solid state. There's really, um, there's not much that can go wrong with the panel, but the inverters are the brains. They're working over time. So in my opinion, inverters are much more of a priority here than the panels. Service is dependent on that company. Um, the company service is going to differ not just from your advisor, but your project manager, your install team, your post install service. Um, and it's hard to list companies here. There's quite a few, um, especially in the Southwest. And we also have national installers as well. But just to, um, just to throw some names around here, you know, on the service side here, we might have the likes of big uh, national electric vehicle makers. Uh, they sometimes do solar. You know, you're going to find a very uh, unresponsive service end, in my personal opinion. Here, you're going to have maybe some national-based solar companies that specialize in leases coming out of California. And then into sort of your, your kind of 10 slot here, you know, I'm going to give it to local installers that know their market really well. And they're experts in their field. So to recap here on the service side here, um, we're going to put solar plus extra companies that started out doing something else um, and are leaning into solar. Probably not a good fit for you if you're looking for a great service experience. Your national installers, frankly, are spread a little too thin. Um, they might not be able to work specifically with your city, town, or county. Um, and at that top spot here, local installers are typically going to be your best bet if something goes astray a couple years or 10 years down the line, you're going to want to have a local installer that's within a hundred mile radius that can pop out very quickly for you. On the warranty side here, so here's where we get a little interesting. So moving on to the fourth slot here, we have the warranty. So what should you really be looking for if you're getting a solar warranty with the system? So here we kind of have at that bottom end, we're going to have sort of like your state required warranties. So some states are going to require three years workmanship on a system. Um, some are going to require one year. It depends on that state law, but anyone that's really offering um, anything less than a 10 year workmanship on a system, um, that would be an out-of-pocket expense if something were to occur to your system. Kind of moving into the five slot here, we're looking for companies that are offering the parts, the roof, and the labor warranty at 20 years plus. 
So these companies understand that there'll be an installation on your roof and by providing a 20 plus year warranty on your roof, it's the best thing you can do for your home to have a company step in and supersede a, a one year or maybe a five year warranty that you currently have on your roof. So at the five slot here, we're gonna have companies that are gonna offer 20 year parts, roof and labor warranties here. So a roof warranty goes without saying, should be on every solar system installation. When we look at the parts warranties, most installers will provide warranties via the manufacturer. So what that means is that a lot of these tier one equipment here, they're gonna come with, you know, be it a 12 year or a 25 year warranty here on a lot of this equipment. Um, that's great news. You, know, you wanna select amazing equipment for your, your home, um, but some installers will leave out their own parts warranty. So again, if something happens up here, you want to make sure that the installer is going to cover that with no service fee associated with it. At the 10 mark here, we're looking at everything previous here, but we're looking at the roof, the labor, the parts, and a production guarantee. So this is really the gold standard. If you can find a company that's gonna offer 25 years, some companies may offer a couple of years, five years on the production, but if you can find a local company that's gonna offer 25 years on roof labor parts production, that's the gold standard. There's no room for error. Everything would be covered and there would be no service fee associated with anything throughout that warranty process here. And finally, racking, it's a little hard to really place racking. Um, there's not as much of a diverse spectrum when it comes to racking, um, but just to throw out a couple of brands here, kind of on that eight plus spectrum here, you know, we're gonna have the likes of K2, Everest, Unirack. Um, these are all great tier one racking companies. You can't really go wrong. Um, if someone's sort of buying parts at Home Depot and some kind of DIY sort of little baby installer installation here, you, you certainly want to make sure they're using tier grade, um, excellent racking material. But off the back foot of that, you, you really want to make sure that you're getting the system completely watertight sealed, triple sealed, lots of caulk, lashing used on the system, ensuring that when the penetrations are made into your truss, that is fully sealed, watertight protected. Um, some installers will sort of use an expedited version of this, but ensuring that you're getting amazing racking that comes with um, the correct sealant method is the gold standard when it comes to racking. So you're kind of looking at all this here and you're like, okay, this, this makes sense. So to summarize everything up here, um, if we had to assign sort of an order to this, um, what I would personally expect or want more than anything else here is I would really be looking for the inverters. You know, this is, this is what I'm going to give the number one slot to, ensuring that when you select an inverter here, it's within this um, at least A plus up range. Into kind of the number two slot here, you know, I'm going to be looking for you know, the warranties. I'm gonna be looking at what that local company provides and offers. I'm gonna give it to service here on the third side. Again, you know, what is their reputation like as an installer? How long have they been in business for? Um, have they gone through the growing curve? You know, a lot of companies will um, launch, they'll grow very quickly, but you wanna find a local installer that has grown, grown move through those growing pains and they're in an excellent position to service your equipment both on an installation and post installation side. Into the four slot here, I'm gonna give it to the panels. Again, a lot of great tier one panel choices all listed up here. A lot of really great panel choices up here. Personally, 
I, I always advise if the price point is right to lean into tier one premium panels, um, but just remember that that does come at sort of a brand label cost. You are paying for that reputation as well. So into the likes of an eight or a nine can oftentimes be the best avenue for you to ensure you're getting the most bang for your buck or the fastest return on investment. And finally, racking. There's not a lot of bad options when it comes to racking. So ensure that your advisor can walk you through what racking or racking methods will be used. And then finally, the investment, I will leave that up to you to decide where that falls. Um, but just remember that there is, there is a range here, right? So, you know, on the highest end, you know, you can pay, you know, as much as $4 per watt for solar. That would be uh, absolutely uh, on the high end. And we've seen it happen. If you're obviously adding batteries, that's going to push up, um, you know, and sort of on the low end here, you know, we kind of have that sort of, you know, you could call it the two price point here. You know, this is, this is kind of where 2023, 2024 prices will fall for you. Um, really anything below three is a win. And so you've got this spectrum here, right? You've got four on the high price point, two on the low price point. Um, ultimately, you know, I would never advise going up to four and two certainly leaves me questioning here where the sacrifice is made to get to this price point. What we're going to look at here, you know, is, is kind of a range. As long as you're around a little above three, kind of into the two range, this is kind of the healthy zone or the Goldilocks zone, where you know the installer is sourcing amazing equipment, providing great warranties and service and racking, um, but at the same time, they're paying their installers well. Um, you know, they're leaving future money set aside for potential service down the line. So taking a step back from it, now that you know what to look for when you're having a solar installation performed on your home, um, just remember, I always lean into the best possible inverters, and then we'll, we'll lean into great warranties, service, panels, and racking, and working within a price point where you can get everything that you want at a competitive price point is the win-win. So it's been an honor to go over how to get the best solar system for you and your circumstance. If you'd like a custom quote provided for your home or if we're already in contact and need to email over your utility bill, you can do so by reaching out. I'll have my number and email listed in the description. Contact and we will get you set up with the best possible system for your home so you can save the most money and be grid independent. Until then, I will talk to you soon.